I would like to ask you permission to use this for educational purpose on the internet. Yes, you can. So you got plenty of other surgeries before our surgery yesterday. Yes. So why don't you just tell me your word, what was the problem and what surgeries did you get? Well, I had the, the, the big surgery was mm -hmm. my lumbar surgery, which was about seven, seven uh, 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 different spots mm -hmm. that day, you know, seven fusions. Yeah, well, fusions for fusions, lumbars, yeah. and then I had two, two uh, uh, bulge discs mm -hmm. right underneath that. Yeah, so over the last, uh, I would say probably 10, 15 years, so you got uh, what uh, you told me in the office and what, when we look at this chart and so on, yeah. you got multiple macrodiscectomy where we go and open up the space and take the pressure, that disc coming out, pushing on the nerve, we took the pressure off the yes. nerve. Or my, or my colleagues did that. And when they were those, when did you get those macro discectomies? Uh, this was on the bottom, right? Yeah, the bottom. The that was in 2002. 2002. And yes. then they used to, uh, uh, and you got another macro discectomy, you told me that, right? So around the same time? And or? Nope, but that one was before this whole ordeal. So mm -hmm. that was back in uh, 19, mm -hmm. let me see, 1988 yeah. or something yeah. like that. Yeah. And uh, those practically is a standard surgery we do, but to do those surgeries, sometimes you have to take part of the bone off. Yeah. And that sometimes causes that your spine during the aging process becomes even more problematic. And then you got that big laminectomy. Yeah. When, what year was that? Do you remember what year? That was in 2002. Okay. That big one, yeah. yes. And then uh, your pain got over the years worse, correct? Well, see, Actually, I went back to work after that, mm -hmm. but I was always working in pain yeah. all the time. And then yeah. it just kept on getting worse and worse and worse until I, I even started collapsing. Yes, and you developed what we call post-laminectomy syndrome, meaning that when we take too much bone off, sometimes we have to do that, yeah. our spine becomes even weaker, weaker and your spine starts sidebending. You develop the scoliosis. Mm -hmm. Now, five years ago, you got a surgery, but that surgery wasn't to correct your scoliosis. You, what surgery did you get? Five years? I had that, my neck surgery. Yeah, yeah, but I'm talking about the lower oh. back, the stimulation device. Yeah, that was all, uh, let me see, that was more or less to do with my, uh, um, it would have been with my muscles. Yeah, to treat your pain. That was pain. to treat your symptoms. Like when I got that really mm -hmm. bad pinch in here, and if I sat mm -hmm. down in a chair and I put that, deal on and it would just like vibrate it away. Yeah, what well, how long did that help you, that stimulation device? Well as soon as I got up it was gone. It was gone. So <laughs> so it didn't really help you. It didn't do me that so, much. And that's the moral of the story. That's stimulation me. device is not a the, the device that uh, sh uh, should be used to treat scoliosis. No. No, well, because because it just relaxes you for a yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. But nevertheless they, uh, you know, you got that scoliosis device that uh, we actually, I actually removed yesterday. But yeah. yesterday, I, we did the olive procedure, mm -hmm. the three-level olive, and your scoliosis in that area is gone. And uh, so how are you now, right now? How, how do you feel? Well, I feel stiff in the back mm -hmm. here, you know, which is, it should be expected. Yeah. I mean, I do feel a little bit better than what I, I don't notice that really bad mm -hmm. pinching. Mm -hmm. That part is pretty much all gone. Good, good. And that so one, the, you mean the sharp pain that's going down yes. the leg, that's gone? Yes. And that is what many of my patients, and they, believe it or not, the, the, uh, that is me, most of my patients wake up, they tell me the leg pain is gone, or the sharp pain in the leg is gone. And that's the best prognosticator, meaning that the surgery helped, and now we have to go to over the, the, through the healing process. Yes. So that's yeah. a very good sign. And you have walked, right? Yeah. yeah, and I'm just numb and stuff, you know, but yeah. I'm, I'm just, I'm not moving around enough. Yeah. And That surgery yeah. that we did yesterday for those three levels, my part, the minimal invasive olive part, was only one and a half hour, and we lost about a, a little, about three ounces of blood. So yeah. we made a big oh, surgery wow. to awesome. small surgery, that's all. And Sometimes we decide to do everything but correct the problem because correcting the problem is a big surgery. Yes. And yes. because we made the big surgery, small surgery, mm -hmm. it's something that we can offer the people before they go through laminectomy and making spine even weaker or 
putting a spinal cord stimulation device. Now we have the option to actually correct yes. the situation. If I would, if this here would have been in the time when mm -hmm. I had the other surgeries done, this here could have been corrected the way how you're doing it. It would have been corrected. Much, much a yeah. better way. And that is what we can show that many patients they get four, five, six surgeries oh, like before they finally come to us so we can correct the situation. And we are colleagues for a good reason. They are, not, they are, they are well educated. They know how dangerous open surgery is. Yes. They just push it off and provide people with smaller, in their mind, smaller surgery because in their hand, open old fashioned surgery is a big surgery. That's exactly what I did. Yeah. I mean, and I tell you, that struggle and the pains and everything mm -hmm. works. 20 I mean, years. You went yeah. through this for 20 years. Yeah, for over yes. 20, yes. And you lost productivity, you oh lost my life, yes. you got, lost family life and so on, because the big surgery was just big surgery. It was big surgery. You, and now, you lose stuff yeah. on it. Well, any question or comment you like? Uh, the only thing is if I, like I said, if I had to do this all over again, mm -hmm. this here would have been such a better way. Yeah. I mean, everything is, when you, just by looking mm -hmm. at it, yeah. the way how it's done, But everything went, is so yeah. nice and stacked in there. Yeah. And I feel better this mm -hmm. way already. Yeah. And you went through multiple surgery. Can you yes. compare just those surgeries right after the surgery to this surgery, oh, even though this surgery gosh. is much bigger? Yes, I was in for the biggest surgery here. Mm -hmm. I was in the hospital for what two weeks? Laminectomy? Yeah, yeah. And I could, I could, I could hardly walk. It's just yeah. a matter of sitting up in bed at first. Yeah. But now I walked already. Yeah, yeah. And even and though I didn't hurt any more than what I do now, it's just that my legs are tired. Yeah. You yeah. know. Yeah. So, and that's at the, exactly the point that uh, you know. Um, it initially seems like a smaller surgery, uh, laminectomy, macrodiscectomy, non-fusion. Mm -hmm. But in many cases, we are internally, we surgeons, we know that's not the correct solution for your problem. Mm -hmm. We just hesitate to do the fusion because open old fashioned surgery is just very damaging. That's the thing, fusion, so you say fusion. Yeah, people are scared of yeah. fusion and, and they should be, but it's not about the fusion. Fusion really achieve what it's supposed to achieve. It's what it, the way we do the fusion that caused too much damage. Well, and I like the idea too of where when you have mm -hmm. like with me, it's you got you can do that fusion in different areas. Yeah, and you don't have to do that whole big back like like the doctor that did this here before. Mm -hmm. He was saying, I wish that this was around. You know, to be years down the road. Mm -hmm. He said because I know they're going to do something better. Yeah. That's yeah. what the doctor have told me. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for the interview. I really appreciate yes. that. Okay.